hearing. This is REZ 2018-17. It's known as the Settlement North, located at 5999 Valdell Road. The request is EA to R1. It will have well in the septic. It involved 98.95 acres. Stephen. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning to you. This is a request to rezone 98 acres from EA to R1, as you said. The main motivation being to subdivide the properties at a greater density for a development of approximately 68 lots. A conceptual plan has been submitted, as you can see. This is the second conceptual plan. The applicant, uh, the first one, had more lots, and they have reduced some of the lots here. The subject properties are located on the west side of Valdell Road, just south of Highway 122, east of Hayhira, approximately 1.6 miles south of the Cook County line. The adjacent properties on the north at Dana Circle are zoned R1. However, this classification was assigned prior to our current LDC, ULDC and before agricultural zoning required a five-acre minimum. The homes on Dana Circle are both site-built, single-family homes and mobile homes. Some of the property owners own two lots, leaving one of them undeveloped. Regarding the current zoning in the area, 97% of the current area surrounding within a one-mile radius is zoned EA. Only 1.3% is zoned R1. The average size of the immediately adjacent parcels is 21.6 acres. The average size of 136 surrounding parcels is 15.75 acres. The subject property is in the rural service area where parcels less than five acres are inconsistent with the comprehensive plan. And the subject properties are approximately a mile and a half east of the eastern boundary of the Hayhira Urban Service Area and in excess of four miles north of the northern boundary of the Valdosta Urban Service Area. With regard to the comprehensive plan, these properties lie within the agriculture forestry character area as depicted on the future development map in the comprehensive plan. The comprehensive plan clearly calls for discouraging premature and scattered urbanization and encourages development to take place in areas that are contiguous to currently built up areas. With regard to the agriculture forestry character areas, as stated by the comprehensive plan, special attention should be paid to maintaining the rural character by strictly limiting new development and protecting farmland and open space by maintaining large lot sizes. Residential subdivisions should be severely limited with minor exceptions. Staff did briefly discuss the possible consideration of RA zoning with the applicant. However, the applicant found RA zoning unacceptable for this project. Staff is concerned that approval of the request would encourage other similar requests and uses in an area with limited infrastructures. And TRC recommendations were split. The Planning Commission ultimately recommended denial 5-2. There was opposition expressed at the Planning Commission meeting and staff has received phone calls opposing this request. Staff does not believe the comprehensive plan nor current development support setting a precedent for future development in this area and finds this request inconsistent with the comprehensive plan. Any questions for Ms. Stevens? This, yes. this plan um, shows just one way in and one way out. Mm -hmm. Or is that gone? No. Okay. The uh, opposition, Molly. Yes, sir. Um, I attended the planning commission meeting, and what I heard was traffic and and stormwater issues. Yes, sir. What else have you heard since that meeting? Drainage, the wetlands, traffic has been a consideration for sure. Are we telling folks that, well, I know the answer to this question, but I'd like to just point out the fact that according to engineering, who I see um, recommended approval, 
I think that they've taken care of the issues with traffic because uh, the road was designed to, to accommodate 6,000 vehicles per day and we're 3,900 vehicles, if I'm yes, not mistaken. Sir. And also, I mean, they clearly show, uh, I guess, I say they clearly show, I'm assuming that's a detention pond on site. They'll control their own water runoff. Um, so was there anything else that... We had a couple of people talking about the fact that they had bought in that area because they wanted the rural living and horses are in the area and people like to ride their horses along the road and the additional traffic with reference to that as well. So the additional traffic is going to affect the horse riding. Any other questions? Mr. Weisenbaker, did you get your question on the entrances? Yes, I found it. Of course, there's two. I saw it. Yeah, thanks. Okay. All right, we'll move on then to agenda.